potatoes. Today I'm going to show you how to make play-doh at home. I'm going to use one cup of plain flour and I'm going to use cream of tartar here. You can use like you can make play-doh without cream of tartar. I'll make another video where I'll show you to make play-doh with plain flour and cooking salt only. But right now I'm going to use cream of tartar. So we are going to take two tablespoons. Oops, sorry. Two tablespoons of cream of tartar. Add two tablespoons of cream of tartar. So cream of tartar generally used to give flexibility to your dough. So it's always uh, really good to make the consistency really flexible and kids can really enjoy this play-doh. Uh, in my first video, I used these play-dohs which are completely natural and homemade. And I got a lot of questions how to make these play-dohs. So that's why I'm making this video. Uh, and these are completely natural Kids can even eat it, there's no harm, no chemicals used and it's quite flexible. One thing I would like to give you a tip is always make sure that you wrap these in a cling wrap to make it more fresh and keep them uh, lasting. Okay, so let's move to our recipe now. Um, add half cup of cooking salt. Salt is really good to keep your dough less flaky. Otherwise, what's going to happen if you won't add salt, your play-doh will get really flaky. So these are my dry ingredients. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these. I'm going to add all these dry ingredients in a cooking pan. Because this recipe is a cooking recipe. I will add... one tablespoon of cooking oil. I'm using canola oil. You can use any one. It will make your play-doh very soft. And I will make one cup of water. And try to cook these mixture on a low flame until it gets a thick consistency of a dough. And other thing to note here is uh, people generally add color whatever color you want to make in the same pan. For example I want to make red color dough. I would add red food color in the same pan but I will make white plain dough first and then I will try to make four colors out of that dough. So let's see how that works out. It's a little bit of hard work so try to use your hand muscles. So just try to stir it up a little bit more vigorously so that there won't be any lumps in the mixture and we can get a smooth consistency. You can see that it's now a very smooth dough consistency. So now turn off the gas and keep it for some time to cool down. So now you can see that the mixture has cooled down a little bit and you can work on these mixtures. See it's quite smooth. Uh, so let's start with blue color first. Uh, these are normal food colors you can buy from supermarket. Uh, I always prefer to use like you know any edible colors so that even if kids can like swallow these clays there's no harmful colors going inside their system. So just put a generous amount of color and try to roll that. Maybe you can add a little bit more Play dough and try to just knead that color into the dough with your hands. 
make sure you wear your gloves well it can spoil your nails <laughs> that's okay so, so after kneading for good 10 minutes you can get this see I just love it so this is my blue color now let's start with Let's start with red color. Six drops of color. And same thing, we are going to knead this dough. And here is my red color. Next, I'm going to make yellow color. Uh, and for this, I'm going to use this powdered color. Powder color can also work well. So it's a saffron color, which gives a very bright yellow color. Three. Color, one of my very favorite color. And look how pretty it is. Uh, yeah, so one thing, so powder color also works well. So you can use any powder color as well. Three. I'm going to use this gel color. So to make black color. Let's see how that works. Take three to four drops of food color and knead it in the dough. Three. Very shiny, bright black color. Uh, I used the same gel color but in a play-doh made from corn flour and conditioner so it's a no cook play-doh made with two ingredients uh, I would share this video as well how to make this play-doh but I personally don't like the consistency and you can see this black color is not really very good it's grayish color and the consistency is very crumbly and that's not like soft as this play-doh you can see this play-doh is really soft and kids can really enjoy the flexibility so I personally prefer this method and this cooking play-doh but yeah again I mean it's two ingredients no cooking play-doh you can use this as well so I'll share the video for this as well to use this powdered color this is a green color and I'm going to use two colors to make a new color so I'm going to use green and this rose pink color to make a new color let's see so I'm taking this green color and and add a little bit of pink color I always love to do experiments with colors and mix and match so let's see what kind of color it would create I think I should add more pink color next time to make a violet color but that's okay I'll use this play-doh as well to make something creative uh, here are my colors yellow black and this one I don't know what color it is <laughs> so thank you. colors we made today hope you enjoyed the video and you would experiment making these play-dohs and enjoy with your cute potatoes in my next video I would share some new ideas creative ideas making with these play-dohs till then bye enjoy stay safe